Welcome to the LCR TC1 Component Tester. This costs only $13.99, it's really useful, so let's check it out together. Uh, basically what we have here is a little component tester. It came with these little, um, little probes and you can use them if you're connecting up diodes and things. Now what it actually measures this, um, you place components in these little slots labelled 1, 2, 3, uh, 1, 2, 3, 2. So these are just little uh, numbered slots. And what you can do is measure uh, diodes, resistors, um, capacitors. Uh, I've also made a little modification to this one uh, inside, which we're going to take a look at shortly. Uh, and I've actually fitted a BlackBerry battery, so uh, you can actually recharge the battery in the device. So uh, I've got a box of components. Let's, uh, let's get started. So first component we've got here is a uh, it's an Elmer uh, Silmic 2 capacitor. I'm just going to show you how it all goes together. So you power up the device. Let's let it switch on. It'll say no unknown or damaged part. Just press it off again. You place the component in on different pins. So in this case, I'm going to put it on pins three and pin one. Just hold it in and then lock it in place. And then when you power it up, it'll do a check of the component itself. And as you'll see on there, It sees it's a capacitor and it's 1033 microfarad with a VLOS of 1.2% and an ESR of 0 ohms. So we can tell uh, by looking at the capacitor that that one is a 1000 microfarad capacitor and it measures absolutely correct, which is exactly what we'd expect to see. So let's move on to another one and we'll see uh, whether we get any that are faulty. Okay, I've got one here that I've removed from a Cambridge Audio um, amplifier that I'm currently working on. It's a 63 volt, 2200 microfarad capacitor. Same again, we're going to just place it in. So I'm going to put it across uh, diagonally in this case, across a couple of pins. So across pin three and pin two. Uh, lock it in place, power it up, and we'll see what we get on this one. So it's just testing it now. And you'll see that's measuring as 2164 microfarad, which it's a 2200 microfarad capacitor. Absolutely spot on, 1.2% uh, uh, loss, and again a zero uh, ohm reading. So, really good capacitor, very low ESR, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. So, let's move on to another component now. Let's try something a little bit different. What do we have in here? Here we go, I've got, this is a little transistor out of a Cambridge Audio amplifier, we're just going to check this. Now this one, because it's a four prong um, transistor, what we're going to do is we're going to connect up little probes. So one on each end and one on the third foot. Just put them in place. You pop the component down, and then these can just go in any of the fittings one, two, or three. I'll just pop them in there. So, one, two, now I'll squish the third one in, three, and then all you do is press the uh, lock switch to lock it in place. So, that's now locked in place. And we'll see what we get. So this is measuring correct again. This is showing that it's a BJT PNP transistor. Got HFE of 175, IC 5.8 milliamps, UBE 959 millivolts. Unfortunately, one downside of this is the display doesn't stay on quite long enough. I wish it could stay on for an extra like maybe 10 seconds. And it shows what pins you've got things connected to. So you know that pin one is uh, is the base, pin 2 is the emitter and pin 3 is the collector. So you get all that information straight from the uh, the box itself. So let's move on to another component. We'll see, uh, let's try, see if we've got any resistors in here. Oh, I'll tell you what I've got. Now, these are brand new, so there's not going to be anything wrong with them, but we're going to check them anyway. These are diodes. 
So I just pop them out. And again, just go across between pin one and pin three, for instance. Lock it in place. And this should come up as a diode. Yep, yeah, measures as a 729 millivolt um, diode and uh, across between pins one and three. So really accurate. I wouldn't say it's the most accurate. You wouldn't compare this to a multimeter and expect it to be exactly spot on. Um, but it's accurate enough to be able to tell you roughly where the component ballpark is for, for what you need and um, whether the component's working or whether it's actually way off spec. So uh, yeah, really good with that. So let's move on to uh, having a look inside the device and we'll see what, uh, see what makes this thing tick. There's four screws hold it together. Now when these come straight from the uh, supplier, wherever you do choose to buy it from, I got mine off eBay, um, you will have to fit a battery because they don't actually come with a battery. Now I had a look online and um, batteries were about £8, but I had a dig around in my drawer and I found an old Blackberry and uh, with a bit of persuasion I managed to resurrect a bit of life into the battery. And um, there we go, so we should have a four screw, there we go, four screws. And uh, I basically integrated the BlackBerry battery. So what I'll do is I'll pull it to pieces. And um, I don't think you can see the battery uh, model, but I'm going to put the model that I fitted that is fitted uh, on the screen for you, so you can have a look to save you uh, watching me prying at this thing and pulling it to pieces. It's not very really hard to take it apart. There we go. So he's apart now. It's just uh, plastic molding the battery. Now I've fitted a battery that's probably a bit too big really, but it's um, it still fits and closes okay with this battery in. Just keep that the right way around so I know which way it goes. So you've got a little uh, LCD display, you've got your little connector and you've got your power button, you've got an infrared re receiver and a little LED on the front and a USB, so it's just normal type uh, type B USB, so just the, the mini micro USB. Um, battery just integrates on two uh, standoffs, two little uh, solder points. You've got integrated circuit under there. Um, I'll see if I can find some high-res pictures of this so that you can have a proper look inside. In fact, I'll, I'll take some pictures uh, and you can have a look at them now so you get a better look at the board. Looks like there's a little oscillator there that says JF 16.000, so I'm thinking that's 16 megahertz. Um, on the other side, you've seen that, so it says KAA1233, so it's just marking out the, uh, the solder points. Soldering's a bit, how do you do? But you know, that's just what you expect for £13.99 plus a battery. So. You know, I mean, I think it's great value. I really have no complaints about this thing. I think for what it costs, you have to have one because it's not prohibitive to not have one at that price. So, yeah, definitely um, I would highly recommend one of these. I'll just pop it back together and, um, and we'll just make sure it powers up. So for £13.99, we'll be powered up for the first time. Can you complain? I don't think so. It does plenty of things, it more than justifies its price, and it's built good enough to last. So I've, uh, I've no problems in, in recommending one of these. Uh, as I say, I'm not gonna recommend a particular supplier because uh, anywhere you can get these from quite a few places. Um, the only thing I will say is the TC1 doesn't have any additional features other than what you um, get straight out of the box. There are other ones that will require um, a little bit of work to put them in a box and you, you'll find these like little circuit boards online. I'll show you a picture on the, on the page. Uh, but they do have extra features like being able to generate frequencies and, and whatnot and uh, output sound and, and things. So yeah, there's there's other devices on the, on the market. They are slightly more flexible. I may get one and see whether it actually fits in this same enclosure. If it does, brilliant. But uh, for now, I think that's um, certainly good enough for what I need and uh, I highly recommend it. Okay, thanks for watching.
Baby, come on. So I just sit here all alone. What was that? So I just sit here all alone.